next, we are going to be so involved in a journey through Peru. Why Peru? Peru is known for alpacas. And believe it or not, alpaca right now is one of the hottest, you know, textiles that is being used because it is completely sustainable and natural. We're going to go through the process of how they shear the different fur and they put it together, how they wash it. They use a root to wash the fleece. Can you believe that? A root, non-chemical soap. Then we're going to go through the process of how they dye these things. They use something called cochineo. It's a little tiny bug that grows on Nepal or, or any type of cactus. And they farm them, and that becomes a pigment. It is the most exciting thing that was used by Renoir, Rembrandt. I mean, it was even used to dye the jackets for the British Army. Can you believe that? It was used in fashions for the royals. It was used. Can you believe this little bug has so much power and it's completely natural? So let's make sure that we stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching Naturalista and we'll see you next time. Welcome to Peru Naturalistas. Here we are. We're going to explore 5,000 years of history. Peru is just such a wonderful country full of ancestral techniques and all different type of cultural experiences and vibrant colors. But today we're here to discuss alpacas and how wonderful they are to the environment. You know, Peru is about 12,000 to 18,000 feet above sea level. Imagine, you know, having to deal with that on a daily basis. These people are just very traditional and very into providing, letting the earth provide for them and them giving back to the earth. There's about 4 million alpacas and its social impact is about 120,000 families that benefit from this. They go through traditional shearing practices, which is ancestral shearing practices, making sure that the animal doesn't get harmed, which is an awesome thing to see nowadays. You know, if you start thinking about the process of how we make things, look, 22 natural shades between white beiges, browns, and blacks, there is such a collective um, amount of colors and things that could be created from the alpaca fur. It's amazing how they've upgraded and now have technical standards and, of course, is fair trade which is a big deal in the fashion market right now. The fiber is non-flammable and it's elastic and it's perfect for felting. Um, alpaca has a visual texture, visual texture and is hypoallergenic. And this is where the process starts. Habernetta root or soap worth is in ancient time was used as a detergent. It's basically an underground stem of a plant. The plant is called Saponaria officialis and it's used, believe it or not, in, in traditional um, plant medicine to treat all sorts of different skin ailments, bronchitis, and disorders. It's, it creates this very foamy um, detergent like water that it's actually 100% natural with no chemicals whatsoever. And this is as you watch, you're going to see how she cleanses the fleece. It's amazing. Look how it removes all of the dirt with no chemicals. And the best part of using this type of root for cleansing is that you could throw the water again into the earth and it actually acts as a fertilizer to plants. So it's completely eco-friendly and effective, as you can see.
100% eco-friendly. Once it is air dried, which it could be 24 to 48 hours, she gets right to work. Now she's creating the thread. This is all an ancestral technique that they've been using for hundreds and hundreds of years to create the thread and you know patiently doing this um from what i understand they just go around doing this all day as they sing as they walk as they cook this is what they do they completely undertake the job of the process from taking care of the alpacas to cleansing to the shearing to the cleansing to the thread making it's it's actually amazing to see that there are still people that are so focused on their traditional ways that they continue to do this over and over again and we are so blessed to be able to see this process unfold in front of our eyes and turn into a beautiful sweater so after she is done making enough of the thread, that is when they go to the next step, which is the, di the dyeing process. And here is the dyeing technique. It's a little tiny bug that grows on Nepal or, or any type of cactus. And they farm them and that becomes a pigment. Cochineal red. According to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, Yale University Press, New Haven in London, Cochineal red is, is part of fashion history. You know, whether the dyes are pigments or inks or brilliant red, it has been one of the most difficult hues to create, except for a little bug called the cochineal bug. Their little pulverized bodies become an abundant supply that is very easy to use and to create different hues of red. It has been used historically um, since the Spanish left Mexico, and it has been something that has been laid in the structure of creating natural dyes for different types of fabrics. In this case, um, the fabrics uh, that are created with the alpaca fleece. The cochineal is found on the nopal plant or el cactus nopal in south america especially in peru um, where they are still farming it actively because it has died down in, in parts of mexico once you know you get to a certain point you realize oh my god look at this red it is so vibrant and she has not even added the hot water and the lemon, which comes in next. So, you know, look at her. She's using it as makeup. And here we're going to start with the dyeing technique. And as you can see, she has now dried the thread that she created from the fleece. And that is the cochineal bug living in the cactus. And 
she's going to walk us through the process of all the different things that she uses um, to dye and create different colors um, with her thread. So, you know, as you can see, you see purple corn. You see all of these different leaves. Eucalyptus leaves is something else that they use. And here's where she starts the process. She has this hot water boiling. She adds the lemon. And as she's stirring, she starts dipping the thread. This is a process that takes time. For the red to get as intense or whatever hue you want it to be. Here she has one that she's been working on for a while. This one is eucalyptus green. So this is the eucalyptus leaf. And that's the cochineal red. And those are the different hues that she creates from her natural dyes. Such an interesting process. This is an ancestral technique used in Peru for thousands of years. And it's just so amazing to see this. And here is the weaving process. As you can see, it takes so much time to line these up. It could be up to a thousand threads at a time to create, depending on the piece that you're creating. In this case, I believe that she said she was creating a table cover or a runner. So here it is where she's actually connecting all the different threads together by hand. The other one is knitting. And this is what they do. This is the ongoing process of creating. From step one all the way through the process of just selling this to tourists or exporting it. Um, it's just amazing to see the process. I am intrigued. And the reality is, imagine how long it takes them to create a piece this size. Look at the beautiful, intricate design that was created by hand. Not one machine in sight. And that is their ancestral technique.
Pachamanca or earth oven. This is a traditional way of cooking that they have in Peru. Everything is cooked underground, hence the name earth oven. From the cheese to the meat, everything is cooked on top of volcanic rock. And this process is a traditional process of acknowledging the blessing of receiving the food and having the earth cook it and bless it for them. It's a tradition and it is just so amazing how they continue to do this. And then as they cook, they do a dance, a traditional dance where he's just playing his instrument and people are just enjoying and watching this process. Well, we hope that you enjoy our journey through Peru, the alpacas, the cochineal bug with the beautiful red dye, the hand techniques. And now this is Eco Moda Peru. It's a huge trade show that is put together to inform people about and, and major corporations around the world about alpaca, the benefits of alpaca, how it is sustainable, eco-friendly, and it's just amazing the resources they put together to bring this show. And then we have all of these American companies exploring to import alpaca garments to the United States from sweaters to household items to everything you could think of. So it's, um, it's amazing to see the progress of sustainability and um, natural fibers making it to the mass market without harming the alpacas. To learn more about Chio Leca School of Design in Peru, go check out their website, chio-leca.edu.pe. Color blends. We figured we would bring you makeup that will work for you, customize for you, and that could make a difference in your life. And what I mean by that is that makeup is one of the most frustrating things to get and make sure that it goes well with your skin. And of course, the environment you're in, like South Florida compared to New York City, in the fall is a very big difference. So you want to make sure that you custom blend to the needs of your skin, not necessarily to the look of the makeup. So keep that in mind. Color blends is something that excited me because I'm going to get to see the process of blending something to my skin, to my color, and to all of the different things that I call imperfections that are part of my canvas. So. I'm pretty excited about sharing this with you. If you guys have any questions about color blends or how to put this together and you want more information on the show, make sure you go to TikTok or Instagram and let us know and we'll be happy to answer that for you. Thank you again for watching and we will see you next time. Hey, Nature Releases. I figured I would share a couple of tidbits about e Egyptians and the belief in that makeup was spiritual and medicinal. The makeup around the eyes acted as a spiritual protection from evil spirits. What? They used coal to outline their eyes. It would look like the eye of Ra. The cheeks and the lips were done with clay. One was called red okra and, of course, cochineal or carmine, which we've been discussing on the show. It's amazing what they thought about makeup and how they used it. And here we are, modern day. We're blending our Hi, own makeup. I'm wonderful, Judith. Thanks so much for having me today. We're pretty excited to have you because you know what? Women are always having the same issue. Is this yes. makeup too much? Does it look cakey? Is it heavy? Is it too heavy for my skin? It's, I'm reacting to it. I am 
getting all of these different hives and things that appear after you use chemical makeup. Okay. And this is not a, you know, attack on the makeup company. This is just letting you know that you have choices and that Absolutely. you can customize them to what you need. So tell Absolutely. us a little bit about Motives and what yes. inspired Motives. Motives Cosmetics uh, comes from a beautiful entrepreneur, Lauren Ridinger. Uh, her and her husband, J.R. Ridinger, started the company Market America Shop.com over 30 years ago. We've had successful growth, and Motives Cosmetics was created by her to meet exactly what you're talking about. Um, providing makeup that actually has a functional purpose for the skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body and yes. your inner health is reflected. So we're very much a believer in beauty from the inside out. Custom Blend has a, a unique role in that because it is so pure. It's all mineral based, all botanical based. There are no harsh chemicals or additives and you can customize it incredible opportunity for women of color as well yes. um, we know that it's very difficult for women of color to find that perfect foundation match mm -hmm. especially because they do have unique skin issues as well sometimes we have different melasma issues or discolorations hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation. Yes. so not only can we match the tone but we can also use our skincare ingredients in the makeup to address some of those issues as well. So it's so an incredible it line, <laughs> absolutely. You can boost it up to yes. what you need. So give me an example. So I'm walking in, I want color blends. My skin is a, um, I'm gonna call it a combination skin, even though it's really, it depends on, mm -hmm. the, on the environment outside absolutely. of the weather. So let's say, walk me through a process of purchasing a color blend and how does that work? Absolutely. Well, first off, we would have you, we have incredible online tools. The company's created some beautiful science-based resources on our website. So when you set your appointment, you're gonna take our online survey to describe in detail everything about your skin, your lifestyle, what you're looking for in your foundation, how you want it to perform. So you choose liquid or powder or both. You okay. can take both. And then you come to the appointment and I already have a baseline understanding of what it is that you want. So we'll talk a little bit more about your lifestyle. We'll confirm it's doing that. that for the skin as well. It's providing that ideal space in the skin, in the skin cells for functionality. So it is overturning. It keeps that fresh glow because it's causing that more rapid turnover, especially for mature skin. Um, right, right. You know, we want to increase the skin turnover, that apoptosis mm -hmm. at the cell, right? Um, free radical elimination. Yes, that's an issue. Right, it's so good. copper peptide does have that antioxidant factors, right? Oh, you know, so forget about we're the converting. Sun in right, you, you've got to. And that's another beautiful thing, if I can just kind of segue since Are you, you brought sure? up the sun. The SPF qualities in our custom blends um, come naturally. So you can add even more, which I always recommend, but because they are mineral based, they're already having an SPF level of between eight to 15, just in the base product alone. That is so. Fabulous. But you can always add Oh, we're on always more. adding, we're <laughs> always Perfect. adding. That is the beauty of customization. It it's is. It's like it could work for you because it's made for you. Right. And it's what you choose or you feel that you need. In this case, Anita can help you figure Absolutely. out a little bit more about what you need. And where are you located right now? Right now, we're exclusive at one of your previous guests. We're at five. <laughs> Elements Medical Spa Five and Wellness Medical Center. Spa yes. Wellness Center. So there's three ways you can get your custom blend from me. You can set an appointment with me at Five Elements. Okay. You can set up a private event for you and your girlfriends or how does that anyone? go? Let's talk about the private event. So yeah, we, we would invite 15 of my close friends. We would you <laughs> would you would coordinate with um, the spa yeah. about a date and what treatment packages you'd like to include. Mm -hmm in your um, spa day. entry day, okay. spa day. But then we would also include every person in your party would also have a skincare consultation, um, as well as get their custom blend. Anita, we're um, so excited to have you here. Thank, thank you, thank you, so you for much. coming over and discussing thank um, you. your motives with us. For more information on Motives Cosmetic or Anita, go check out motivescosmetics.com.